from CMA Wind and uh, can you hear me? Okay, hi, I'm Yuan from CMA Wind and Solar uh, Center. I would like to share our key technologies in a program cooperate with CNAC, focus on solar energy resources, valuation, and PV potential in low latitude area. The next slide, please. And the presentation includes two fields. One is process on Formula 4 a SSF products application, and the other is the effect of inhomogeneous meteorological conditions on PV generation. And next. Uh, here is a brief introduction for foreign satellites. Uh, foreign is the Chinese word for wind and cloud, which means that this series of satellites are aimed for meteorology. Uh, the video on uh, the video in the top left shows the uh, this video it shows the seven Fengyun uh, service satellites currently current, uh, currently operating in orbit, uh, including the polar orbiting and the geostationary. Uh, I think many of you are the users of green products. And the table on the on the top right shows some basic info on Fengyun 4A, uh, who is the first flight unit of the Fengyun 4 series. And on top of that, I'm pleased to share with you that Fengyun 4B, the second flight unit of the Fengyun 4 series, was launched in June 2021 and is on training operation from the June 1st this year. The SSI data used for solar energy valuation will be released later and it can be downloaded on the official website of the National Satellite Meteorological Center. Uh, next, please. Next, okay. Uh, here shows the Fengyun 4A full disk map and the irradiance distribution uh, in Philippines. In our project, we are going to evaluate the performance of Fengyun 4A products in Philippines. Next. Uh, here's the location of the inset stations. The stations mainly in the offshore area of China and which are all in the latitude areas, including the BRSN, the Ocean Boil Stations, CMA Radiation Observation Station, and Hong Kong Observation Radiation Observ Observ Observatory. Okay, next. Oh, and here shows the validation results. It can be seen that the 44A pro uh, products performs well in low latitude area. And the results from the Ballon Boil Stations shows that uh, there's no big difference for the performance between the land and sea. And for the next step, we are going to further analyze the performance of Fengyun 4 products with the ground-based observations in Philippines. Okay, next, please. Uh, here comes the second part about the effect of the inhomogeneous meteorological conditions on PV generation. And here's the, the purpose and the significance of our study. The photovoltaic panels facing source and the normal conditions, while the radiation as, uh, asymmetry characters can have an impact on the, op, uh, on the optimal uh, azimuth. The reason for the asymmetric, asymmetric distribution of the radiation is related to many factors, such as clouds and the visibility. The next, please. Uh, and to further uh, illustrate this point, we choose we, uh, we choose Urumu Key Station and analyze the radiance of 10 years in AM and PM respectively. It's found that both AM, GHI, and DBI is higher than that in the PM. Uh, next, please. Uh, this slide shows that the asymmetric variation of daily irradiance is characterized by climate, month, season, and year. Next. Oh, sorry. Uh, in condition of the fixed inclination, we calculate the GTI for each uh, azimuth. The result shows that the, opti the optimal azimuth is 11 degrees east, east, east due south rather than south. And at this azimuth, the year value of GTI increased by four kilometers per square. Uh, next, please. And in condition of the seasonal adjustment, we found that the absolute value of the optimal azimuth angle, angle is, max, is, max, is maximum in summer. And, and uh, there's internal, and there's internal, and is internal variation of optimal azimuth. And next. 
Uh, in our project, we would, like, we would like to analyze the radiation in Philippines based on the same technical lines, find out that the effects of the uh, and find out the effects of the inhomogeneous uh, meteorological foundations on PV generation. And to sum up, ground-based observations in Philippines are important for us. And a sincere thanks goes to the SNAC group and Gasa for your help in the data support. Uh, okay, next. Uh, here's uh, the outline of the work plan. And uh, so, uh, next slide, please. So if you are, uh, next slide, please. So if you're interested in our work or have any advice, please contact us. Okay, that's all, thanks.